Hello everybody, welcome. This is paper one from November 2023, time zone one. Uh, let's work through this and see what we can do. All right, last question, just about made it. Here we go. Thurston believes that more popular musical artists sell more albums. He begins to investigate this belief by randomly selecting eight musical artists and collecting data on the number of followers each of the artists has on a particular social media platform. He then calculates data on the number of albums each artist sold in the first week after releasing an album. And then his data is shown in table one. All right. So we have number of social media followers in thousands and number of albums sold in first week, also in thousands. Okay. Um, ah, as an aside, this is, I think, I mean, this is the IB, I guess, trying to be relevant. Um, talking about number of albums sold. Um, there's kind of like speaking at cross purposes, right? Social media and then uh, number of albums sold. Uh, potentially, potentially, potentially. I don't know if that is uh, the most relevant metric um, in terms of uh, artist sales and so, but anyways. Thurston decides to calculate the Spearman rank correlation coefficient, complete the table of ranks shown in the table. So this is actually a one mark question. Spearman is usually two, so what this is probably saying is that there's going to be no ties. If there was ties, then that would be one of the additional marks. So this is the highest, and then let's count down from there. This would be the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, this is the fifth highest, this is the sixth, seventh, and eighth. One mark question, reasonable enough. Okay, calculate the value of RS Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Not a bad question. This is very peculiar because this is the final question, which is often the most challenging. So let's go back to the calculator and let's put these values in on the spreadsheet. Um, I think I'm gonna need a new document. Okay, here we go. Spreadsheet X and Y. These are the ranks for social media followers. Four, three, six, five, seven, two, eight, one. And we're gonna pair each of these individual rankings with the rankings of the album sold for eight, three, five, six, seven, one. So just remember once again, pairing the rankings with the corresponding rank of the number of albums sold in this case. So four pairs with two, three pairs with four, six pairs with eight, and so on. To find Spearman, once again, just like we would for Pearson's, except we input our ranks Let's go ahead and work that out. Here we have our R value. So let's return back to the document. We see R is equal to 0 0.5952. Going back to the document for B, R is equal to 0 0.595 to three sig figs. 0.595. This last question is very, very peculiar. Uh, to be honest, I've never seen something like this on a AISL exam. Here we go. Thurston believes that artists with a higher number of social media followers sell more albums in the first week. He carries out a hypothesis test using a 10% significance level with the following null hypothesis. In the population, there is no monotonic relationship between the number of social media followers and the number of albums sold in the first week. Monotonic means that they both grow with a growth in the X, we have a growth in the Y, whatever those variables are. With a growth of the independent variable, we have a growth in the dependent variable, or just in, in two variables, I suppose. So potentially you could have something like this. As one grows, the other grows as well. A move to the right is a corresponding move to a move up. In this case, we're not asking for linear or anything like that. Just growth in one equals growth in another. As sales increase, so do social media followers. Social media followers increase. So do sales. This kind of thing. Uh, not asking if it's linear. Write down Thurston's alternative hypothesis. There's no monotonic relationship. No monotonic relationship between the number of social media followers and the number of albums. So, assuming that this is no monotonic relationship, no monotonic relationship, 
Um, for the alternative, we would imagine that there is. There is a monotonic relationship. Relationship. Or we could say that there is a monotonic relationship. Or we could say what? Uh, there is a correlation. There is a correlation. A positive correlation between the ranks of social media followers, between an artist's social media followers, followers, and album sales. All right. The critical value of RS is equal to 0 0.643. State the conclusion of the hypothesis test given a reason. This is a weird question because it's not a t-test. It's not a, a, an independence or goodness of fit t-test. It's not a chi-squared test. It's a, a hypothesis test where he's comparing his Spearman correlation coefficient with, here we have, the Spearman correlation coefficient with some critical value, that is to say some kind of cutoff point. And so the critical value of RS for this test is 0 0.643. The value that we found is equal to 0 0.595. And we know that this is less than 0 0.643. So in words, the strength of the correlation that we found was actually less than the critical value. If this is the critical value, it's the cutoff point. It's, let's say, the minimum strength required for us to say that there actually is some kind of relationship. So the conclusion for this hypothesis test, uh, what could we say in this case? Conclusion for hypothesis test, if it's less, if the strength of this correlation, which measures the rankings, between social media followers and album sales is less than our critical critical value 0 0.595 is less than 0 0.643 then there's not enough information for us to believe that there actually is that there actually is a monotonic relationship so in this case we would accept ho or once again just to be safe fail to reject HO. The strength of our correlation is less than, than at least the critical value, the minimum amount of strength. And so our null hypothesis, once again, is that there's no monotonic relationship. There's no relationship between social media followers and album sales. Alternative is that there is, that there is a correlation between the ranks. In this case, our value came out less than our critical value so we fail to reject HO. All right, there we have it. I think that was the end. It is. Um, somewhat of a challenging exam, um, somewhat strange in terms of its structure, somewhat peculiar in terms of its emphasis, its algebraic emphasis. Um, an interesting exam, I gotta say. Uh, all right, everybody. I hope that was helpful, and as always, best of luck. Take care.